Hello friends, welcome. This is Patty Bennett. This is our weekly Friday live video on Facebook. If you're watching a replay, you might be catching me on my blog or on YouTube. Either way, whichever way you're watching, I just want to say hello and welcome. So if you're joining in live, please say hi. You're going to see a little red live button up in the corner if you're watching live on Facebook. And if you're don't if you don't see that, then you're catching me on a replay. Uh, if you have questions while you're watching the replay, could you do me a favor and use hashtag replay and then ask your question? It does help me to find questions later after it is live. So welcome. Hi, Colleen, Marianne, Rosie. Hello, everyone. How are you all today? So if you're joining live, say hi. And for those of you that are catching the replay that I just mentioned, jump ahead a minute or so because I always log in just a minute early just to get all my technology situated. And I'm watching your comments over here on the side. And today we are going to be talking about celebration. We are going to go through the entire catalog with, I have a whole box of samples over here to show you tips about the products, kind of my thoughts about the products, and we are going to have so much fun. I'm so excited about this video. Hi, Mary, Linda, Janet, Sue, Randy, Donna, Christine, Brenda, Laura. Oh my goodness, so many people are joining in. Hello, everyone. So glad that you are here. So my name is Patty Bennett, and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I have been a demonstrator for, well, it'll be 28 years this year. Can you believe that? That's a long, long, long time. <laughs> and I blog at pattystamps.com. I think I've, I don't know how long I've had that blog, maybe 15 years or so. So when you are looking for any more details or catalog requests, contact me uh, videos about my crafting space, all those things, you can find those things on my blog, pattystamps.com. And then if you just add forward slash shop, you can get to my store anytime. So let's get started. I am really excited to show you all of the goodies in here. And the great thing about the fact that Celebration has started now is that I can show you the inside of the catalog because prior to yesterday, January 5th, we could not show the inside of the catalog, but now we can. And so if you're watching anywhere between January 5th and February 28th, 2023, then these samples and products do apply to you. If you're one of my customers, you received the catalog with this little sticker on the front and it's a little teeny tiny picture uh, let me show you. That's so cool. Look, it's the new Boho Blue Mini Stamp and Cut and Emboss Machine. Is it not just the most gorgeous color? I love this. And of course, it comes with all the plates and platforms and instructions that you need to do your die cutting in this uh, machine. Most of our dies in the catalog could fit through here. There's really a small percentage that are too large. So if you're just starting out, this is a great machine. And you're thinking, well, why are you showing this? Okay, let me tell you more. And if it's something that you're interested in, I would encourage you, if you are one of my customers, to join my team. If you have a, another demonstrator, join their team. But in the back of this brochure, it gives you the information about how to get this adorable Boho Blue Mini Stamp and Cut and Emboss. And it, it is a join offer from Stampin' Up! So it you can get it in your kit. If you pay $129, you're going to get the machine and, can you believe this, $175 in product of your choice from the catalog? Oh my gosh. So $179 plus the $63 value machine for $129. If you don't care for the color, totally fine. You could get the white one. Or if you don't need a mini machine, you can just opt for $175 in product for only $99. It's always free shipping on the starter kit when you join Stampin' Up! 
and you would be joining my Love to Stamp group, which is a nationwide group of about 400 demonstrators, both men and women, all ages, all levels. Um, most of my team, as with probably most of the Stampin' Up! demonstrators that join, just want to get a discount and have some new friends and share their creations. And that's what our group is all about. However, if you're a business builder and you want to build a business, I'm there to support you as well. I do weekly training with my team. So I have lots and lots of training to provide. All right. So that is the join offer. Um, oh, just before we get to the samples, one more thing. And I've put this on my blog and my newsletter because it's the number one question that I get. People do get confused because I mail like this. I mail these two catalogs together to my customers. And a lot of customers think they have to purchase from the mini to get the celebration gifts. It's not true. You can purchase from the annual catalog. You can purchase anything in the online store, such as our kits, our paper pumpkin subscriptions, or the clearance rack, and you still get free celebration gifts. So just wanted to review that real quickly in case you, you know, maybe had a question about that. Alrighty, so we are going to go through page by page, and I'm going to show you the free gifts in this catalog, and then we are going to review what the, the free products are, as well as a lot of samples that I've made. So our first set over here on page four is the Adorable Owl set, and it is aptly named. It's truly adorable. They are so cute. I want to show you these three samples that I have made with this set, and I do think they are pretty darn cute. What do you think? <laughs> Give me a thumbs up or a heart if you enjoy these samples or these ideas. Oh, thank you. Tammy is on my team. She just said that I am an amazing leader and we have an incredible team. I do think that's so true. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Shan. Shan is also on our team as well as Anne. Hi, Anne. She is here and on our team. Welcome, everybody. Oh, Susan is here too from our team. Oh, so many of my team members are here. Thank you for watching. So sweet of you. I see some hearts, so thank you, thank you. Let's look at these cute cards. They will be on my blog soon, but I just wanted to give you an overview of things that I've done with all the celebration gifts. So if you place a $50 order, this is one of the stamp sets you could select. And in these three samples, I've also pulled in this celebration gift, which is actually, can you believe this? 48 12 by 12 sheets with all these beautiful patterns. So I've mixed and matched from the Dandy Designs Celebration Gift Offering with these cards. So here I went with the Papaya and Freesia combination, and I actually colored the cute little L in Papaya. This one is the Curry and Calypso Coral. And I think he's really cute. You could do this for birthday because of the party hat. I just used the hoot hoot. You're so cute. I thought that was kind of fun. And then this one, I think it was Tammy yesterday that called him the professor. And I thought that was so adorable. I think, Tammy, was that you that said that? It was just the cutest name. And I thought that was really fun. And on this one, let's see, can you see his little bow tie? I actually stamped the L a second time onto one of those dandy designed pattern papers and it's a little plaid so he has a little plaid bow tie on there so cute so adorable so those are three ideas for you and these will be on my blog soon i'm just kind of giving you a real quick overview so far yes it was you tammy i thought that was so cute <laughs> that was so fun <laughs> Thank you, Patricia. Thank you. I am going to jump ahead in the catalog real quick just to show you where this paper is. So it's toward the back. Let's see, it's after this one, right? Yep. Page 14. This is the dandy design paper that I was using, and it is 48 sheets, 12 by 12, 
And this requires a $100 order to be able to get this for free. So just so you know, there is a difference between $50 gift items and $100 gift items. All right, but we're going to go back and still keep going in order here because next we're going to look at the really cute, I call it the carrot set. It's officially called Thanks a Bunch, but I call it the carrot set. So let's look at that one. And in all honesty, when I first saw it, I thought, hmm, carrots. Well, hmm, okay, carrots. I wasn't really sure about what I would make. I'm like, well, silly, make a carrot card, right? So I just decided my son's laughing at me. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> so here are two ideas <laughs> that I created with the carrots. And I started by stamping them in different colors. I will have the color combinations on my blog soon when I blog these. But, there, you know, carrots can be lots of different shades of orange, even purples, right? So I just used some different shades of orange and uh, pumpkin pie, calypso coral, Cajun craze. I decided to just try out some different things. In these two cards, I also used the new Day at the Farm paper. And you can see here, I used that pattern, that pattern, and that pattern in these cards. So I just thought they looked kind of fun together. And we can jump ahead real quick in here just to see on page eight is where you're going to find that. Um, Tammy, can I ask you a favor since I know you're on here? I meant to grab the link and I forgot. One of our team members, Melanie Hawken, makes and offers these amazing samplers. And I think with the last, was it annual and holiday catalog is when she started doing these. And this set is for the um, excuse me, the January mini catalog as well as celebration. So I have all of them in here, the six by six and the four by six samples of the 12 by 12. And I forgot to grab her link. It's Mel's Inky Fingers. And Tammy, if you would be able to grab that link or Anne or anybody else that I know um, from our group here that could find that link for me, if you could post it in the comments in case anyone wants to order these, they are such a great resource. She has all the patterns of each pack. And then on the back, she has all of the coordinating colors, which you know how often we're like, oh my gosh, is is that Cajun craze or is that pumpkin pie? Or And then you can just read the colors on the back. For the celebration one, she has the amount here that you need a $50 order to get this. And then on the front, you have the name of it. It's from the celebration catalog. You have the item code. The, I mean, all the information is here. These are such a great resource. And I'll tell you one way that I love to use these when I'm designing is that I'll think to myself, oh, do we have a pattern with leaves, let's say, or do we have something that's fresh freesia and highland heather? And I just start flipping through all these at my desk and I'll find a pattern and I'll say, oh good, there's a great freesia or heather uh, pattern. And then I just go right to that pack. So I find these fabulous. And you can take these apart you can undo the staples. You could take these apart and you could actually use these at some point if you're done using them as a reference tool. So sorry about the sidetrack, but I just I know that people will ask, where did I get those fabulous little um, reference tools? So that's where I got them. Oh, thank you. Oh, you guys are so cute. You're you're commenting about our group and our weekly meetings. Um Thank you, Marcy. Thank you, Tammy, so much. Thank you, thank you for posting those links. I'm so sorry I forgot to grab that link ahead of time. It was on my mind and I forgot. But anyway, so there's what I call the carrot set and my carrot cards, and I really think they're really, really cute. I think it's quite a fun set. Now, I have a bonus for you. Wait till you see this. 
I'm expecting several hearts and thumbs up after you see this idea. All right. So I looked at this carrot set. I turned it on the side because this is something my son would do. He loves to walk by my stamp desk and say, hey, you could turn that upside down and it would be a such and such. I used this and this and I made grass for my bunny. How cute is that? The bunny is not a celebration gift. It is called Easter Bunny. It has a matching punch, and it's in the January mini catalog. But I couldn't resist bringing this in and combining these two sets to make this card. I do see hearts and thumbs. Oh, I saw a sad face. I hope that was um, a mistake. <laughs> but I also used, it looks like spring from this set. So... If you're looking at this set in the celebration catalog and you're thinking carrots, I don't know, carrots, look at these other pieces and think about other things you might do. You can use the leaf and the little sprigs. You can use these little dots. They almost look like hearts, but they're dots. And you can use these cute uh, greetings in other ways. And then, of course, you can make a grass. Isn't that fun? I thought that was adorable. So, oh good, Randy says, great tip. <laughs> oh, Kathy says, I'll remember that when making Easter cards. Thank you, Susan. Oh, I'm glad you like this. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. I just thought that was really fun. And this bunny is so cute. I'll be doing a blog post with him soon, but he's just adorable. All right, moving on. Let's look at the Dainty Flowers Celebration Paper. And I will tell you, this was the absolute number one selected free item by my customers yesterday on the first day that we could select celebration gifts. This is really beautiful. I love that it has lots of colors and it has kind of a variety. So if you like the purples, it has selections for you. If you like more of the yellows, you can find beautiful patterns to use. If you like the pinks, you have different patterns. If you just need greenery, you have that option. And then, of course, this uh, gorgeous starry sky. Yeah, starry sky. It's just it's so pretty. So let me just show you a couple of things that I have made with this. There are a couple of patterns that you can cut apart the large sheet and get six cards out of, well, you could get more depending on what size you cut it. But if you cut the paper this size, you're going to get six of these. And look, all I did was put them onto colored cardstock bases and add a greeting. And then I don't know if you can see, but I used the new little milky dots on there. So super simple to do that. And then this sheet also, I made a whole bunch of these. It has these beautiful ovals. And so you can get six cards like this out of a sheet by cutting the ovals down either into um, you could do this size, the four by five and a quarter, or I went a little smaller so I could mat it. Just putting a greeting in the center, and that's all it needed. Then I had some leftover pieces by doing these, and then I created those. So they're all just basically layering different pieces of this paper. And of course, you can do lots of other things. There are beautiful examples here in the catalog for you to look at. But I just wanted to show you quickly that that these are just super quick ideas that need very minimal stamping. A lot of people don't want to do a lot of stamping or don't have time and love to just layer paper. That's me. Uh, well, I mean, I love to stamp, but I'm just saying I love to layer paper and then making them quickly like this is really fun. So that's Dainty Flowers. It is free with a $50 online purchase. Thanks. Um, yeah, Brenda, I love those oval flowers as well. <laughs> Sandy, that's true. She says, sometimes the stamp sets that make you wrinkle up your nose at first end up being the best. And I think we all kind of enable each other and somebody will see something and then they're like, oh my gosh, I like that. And yes, um, Diane said 
that she saw the carrots used as trees. I saw that as well. I saw that. That was so cute. Hi, Cheryl. Welcome. All right. So now the, the day at the farm paper, which I showed you earlier, I used that with the carrot set. And I have not used it beyond that. I do have, there is a bundle called On the Farm. This is the set and it has matching dies and it coordinates perfectly with this paper. I just ran out of time, haven't had time to create with this yet, but I will. So um, here's one thing I'm going to suggest. If that farm bundle is something that you're considering purchasing, Get this paper now because Wednesday Liberation is done or if it runs out early, you're going to be sad that you didn't get it and that you don't have it to coordinate with that bundle. I, I guarantee you're going to be sad, right? So get it now. Keep a pack. Even if you don't have time to use it quite yet, then you can use it when you get your bundle. Um, this set, we're actually, I'm going to show you uh, with a different set because I combined it with In the Country. So we're going to look at this one, but it's called Sending Support and it has really lovely greetings in it. It's always nice to have an extra greeting set on hand. So we'll, we'll skip to that one after we look at this. This paper, hands down, is my favorite. I love the dramatic. I love the black background. I love the colors in here. Again, I love that Stampin' Up! did a variety. So if you like purples, blues, freesias, heathers, you've got all these gorgeous colors. If you like the papayas and the corals and the pumpkin pie and the richer oranges, you've got that. Look at this one. I think this might be my favorite. I think because it reminds me of chrysanthemums. I'm not positive if it is, but it looks like it. And my mom grew lots of chrysanthemums, so I always think of her garden when I think of chrysanthemums. Okay, look at this piece. Uh, yes. Fantastic, right? And then this one is stunning. And then again, if you prefer the purples, you've got this. So let's look at a couple ideas this is something that I came up with. The details will be on my blog. I think Sunday this is set. So January 8th, I believe this is set to go live. And I, I just sort of came up with this idea. And the, again, you'll see the details on my blog. But I used the rectangle stitched die to cut out the background piece. So it creates a frame. Then in between, I just stuck this piece, which is from the scallop contour. So it's that layered look, but super easy to make. And if I just confused you, don't worry, just come back on Sunday. You'll see all the step-by-steps for this. But here is, let's look at these. Here is an array of ideas with the papaya and the coral. You can uh, mix and match like these two, where I've alternated. Or you could just do all papaya or all coral. Aren't they pretty? Oh, and this thanks greeting or sentiment is found in the Kind and Sincere set. It is in the uh, mini catalog, as well as this die, this new die. And then I decided to pair it up with green. Let me show you this comparison right here. Look at the difference, same paper, and what a difference that makes, right? And then here we have green paired up with the freesia and the heather pattern, or look at what a difference it makes when you just pair it up with fresh freesia. So really simple to do, great results, all different ideas. And I have other samples I accidentally mailed them all out to my customers, but I did take pictures, so they will be on my blog. But I apologize that I don't have them to show you. I was really bummed. Wait, did I take a... Oh, I did. I printed out a photo of um, all the other ideas that I had made. These will be on my blog sometime this month, but yeah, just so that you can see what 
what stunning cards this paper makes. It's just so easy. Hi, Tracy, Carol, Kathy. Oh, a bunch of people just joined in. Hello there. Oh, Lisa. Uh, exactly. So Lisa was saying about that farm bundle and paper. Who or why would I send a farm card to? I was thinking about kids' birthday cards. I think they'd be fun. I think you could make some cute cards with that or even masculine cards. Um, I'm kind of in the same boat where I'm not sure who I might send that to exactly, but I just couldn't resist that free paper. So I'm, I'm determined to make something. <laughs> um, let's see. Where is Yes, simplicity, Glenda, of that Dainty Flowers paper. So pretty, exactly. All right, so then we're going to move on. Let's see what's next in here. Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, so the final of the $50 free gifts is a set called In the Country. So here's what it looks like. It's only two images, but for anyone who loves to color or watercolor or use Stampin' Blends. You're going to love coloring this, but I'm going to show you something. I also thought, okay, well, there's going to be people who say, well, I like this, but I'm not sure I, I'm not confident in my coloring, or I don't want to take the time to color. I want to show you something that I did. This image from this set, I just inked the entire thing in Mossy Meadow, I grabbed my early espresso marker, which is a dark brown, and right on the rubber, I colored the fence in, right on top of the green, and I stamped it, and that's all I did. So you can make this super, super, super simple, no coloring, no shading, no extra work, and it's still really beautiful. So that's a possibility. And I'll point out here, sending loving thoughts and prayers, this is where we're going back to that other free set that I kind of skipped over because I said I combined it with another set. And that is in this sending support set. Now, if you want to color it in, I'll show you the difference here. So on the left, I stamped it in Memento Black and I used my Stampin' Blends to color it. So that is just a, a real different look. It looks more almost like a painting right? Oh, the background. Um, this is the new vellum. So let me lift it up and show you. So it's a mossy meadow card base. And then do you see here? It's just the printed vellum and I put it on top. I just really wanted simple, just very, very simple and easy and plain. Thank you for asking. I forgot to talk about that, Jan. I'm sorry. I skipped over that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just reading comments. Just, yes, great for sympathy cards. Exactly. All right, so there's that, this bottom image, and two ideas with that. And then the top image, on the left, I did a little softer look with watercolor pencils. On the right, I used my Stampin' Blends and made fairly simple. Uh, there's no embellishments. There are no, uh, there's no ribbon, there's no greeting. They're just simple. I just kept them very simple. And the background paper is Delicate Desert. Wait, let me look. Let me make sure. Yeah. No. Is it? Hang on. Yes, no, yes, no. Yes, Delicate Desert. That's what I used in the background for these because I just wanted a bit of color, but again, simple. So all details of these will be covered on my blog in the future. I'm just giving you an overview, uh, showing you what you might do with some of these celebration gifts. So that is the last one in this catalog that is free with your $50 purchase. Oh, I wanted to show you one thing I did on these. And probably you can't see this on camera, but I want to tell you what I did. I did it with both of these. No, I did. Okay. This piece um, is die cut with the deckled rectangle. Rather than gluing it completely flat onto the background paper, 
I actually layered two of these and it brings it up off the paper just enough to give a shadow and give a little extra kind of a, a richer feeling to the card. And on this one, I put a scrap paper of, well, scrap cardstock under this designer paper layer just to lift it up a little bit. It's not as much as a dimensional. It's not as thick. So, of course, it mails perfectly fine. But it just, it gave these two cards like just that little single little extra touch of richness. Uh, and I don't know, I know you probably can't see it, but it in person, um, it's really... Yeah, Lisa, a delicate dessert. You're right. Uh oh, Lisa says, I lost you. Did I freeze? Am I gone? Am I okay? It looks okay on my end. Can somebody let me know before I go rambling on if we're okay? Thank you, Brenda. Hi, Jason. Welcome. Hi, Hi Colleen. <laughs> my son. <laughs> uh, okay. Got thumbs up hearts. Are the white sheets thick? Um, Lisa, are you asking about the die cut? These are just plain, but you could use thick white. Okay, I'm good. We're okay. All right, good, good. All right, thank you, everybody. Okay, so let's move on and let's talk about this set. Now we have two gift choices that you can select when you have a $100 order. Speaking of that, let me take half a second to say one thing here. I have noticed that a lot of my customers will place several $50 orders over the course of celebration. If that's your budget, that's 100% fine. But I want you to know that you're spending more in postage than if you placed a $100 order and got two of the celebration gifts at once. That's an option. Or, like, let's say you wanted these two. You can place a $150 order, select this and this, and you'll get hostess gifts from Stampin' Up! as well for anything over $150. So, just so you know, you never have to keep it to $50 or $100. You can keep building your order and select as many as you want. I just, I want to make sure that everybody knows that because um, it is a question I get during celebration. Okay, so let's look at this set. This is a larger stamp set, several greetings, several beautiful images. So it is free with a $100 purchase. And it is called Beautifully Happy. And I've made lots of things with this. And I love this set. The first thing I did was I just made this tiny little image stamped onto die cut, a die cut. And I think it's from the all that, the He's All That bundle. I think that's what it's from. I layered it onto some soft succulent cardstock. And then I started making cards. I combined, this paper is from Fancy Flora. Is that what it's called? Please hold while I consult my amazing little reference sheet. Yes, from Fancy Flora. This is six by six paper. So I cut it to three by five, and that allows me to get two cards on, two note cards out of one piece. So these two are from the same piece. These two are from the same piece. And when I first showed these, I think it was on Instagram, somebody had commented and said, I love your coloring. Well, let me tell you something. I didn't color these. You stamp the outline and you stamp these right on top and that's all your shading. Your shading is all done for you. It's amazing. So you would do this one in green and you would do this one in your floral color. See, green and your floral color and bam, it's done. Super simple. So that is a one idea. And then I started playing with colors. So beyond the flirty flamingo, I went into mango and um, flamingo combined on this one. Same here. This one is just daffodil and mango. Here we have mango and um, flirty flamingo again. And same here. And you can see each time 
I've just used a little bit darker of an image and a different green. And it makes such a neat variety of color options. The background of most of these is that fabulous paper that we've talked about earlier, the Dandy Designs. So I used that on a lot of these. A couple of them, um, these two are from, I always want to call it Singing in the Rain. It's called Rain or Shine. Um, but they're, those two are from that. The rest of them are from this free pack. So I thought that was a lovely assortment and a fun way to play with color because you know me all about the color and then lastly I want to go back to this set and just show you if you don't want to do a lot of coloring I had a series of these on my blog a few weeks ago I used the the blending brushes to put some color on white cardstock and then I just stamped this image in black so you don't have to do a lot of coloring. You could do it this way, or you could use our new mini. We have the mini blending brushes now. You could stamp it and then just give the flowers a little bit of color with the mini brushes. So that concludes all of the free offerings, two of them at the $100 level, the other seven at the $50 level. So we went through all of these. And the last offering, if you have a party or if you have a large order yourself at the $300 level, there is another set. And I left this downstairs, so I can't show it to you in person, but it's called Scenic Garden, and it just has these beautiful images that are great for coloring. And then at the beginning, if you missed it, we did talk about the new Boho Blue Mini Stamp and Cut and Emboss and how you can get that. And this, if you read this little description, this is one of the new in colors that's coming up in the new catalog in May. So it's a sneak peek. <laughs> so, oh, thank you. Mercy says your projects are amazing. You are sweet. Thank you, Holly. Thanks, Christine. Thank you, everybody. So I'm just going to start kind of spreading them out here. Get them all back out. And answer any questions that you might have. Who has questions about all of the celebration gifts, about the projects? I know I kind of went on and on and on, but it's my job to give you inspiration, to show you ideas. Look, I mean, we're just going to spread these all out here. How many ideas did I share today? This was a lot. The carrots, the bunny idea. And of course, super duper cute elves. Oh my goodness, look at all that fun that we did today. If you tuned in late, I hope that you will watch the replay because we had a lot of fun today. <laughs> Thanks, Doreen. <laughs> I think next week on Friday, oh, it's Friday the 13th next week. Oh, okay, well, no matter. I think I will be doing my live video on this great citrus bundle because I made lots of different fruit with it and I want to give you all the shading tips that I have for you with that bundle. It's a little hard to describe in a blog post so I think that will be my video next week. All right let me catch up here and let me see if there are any questions during this live. Oh, Shan, I didn't do all this in a week because I did my pre-order. I've been working on these in December, so I didn't do all of this in a week. These were from um, December. Thank you, Polly. Thanks, Colleen. Thanks, Brenda. Oh, thank you, Mary. Thank you, everybody. Oh, so many kind comments. Yes, I do have the milkshake set, Lisa, and it's adorable. I'll show you one cute little sample that... I created in a class I took with Kirsten. Isn't this adorable? This little box with the um, belly band. And I cannot wait to use it more. It is so cute. Yes, I did get it, though. It's so, so, so cute. Uh, you're welcome, Teresa. Thanks, Pam. <laughs> Patricia says, I needed a patty kickstart. I hope I provided that. <laughs> Ah, Marcy said I could totally whip all this up in a week. Yeah, I, I do have 
Oh, where did my box go? Oh, here it is. I do have these also that I made in addition to what's in front of you. I did make all these too, <laughs> but they're just kind of versions of these. So we don't need to go over them. But yeah, I did. I have made a lot. I have made a lot. So any questions about celebration, how it works? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't go. Don't go. One more thing I wanted to show you. Don't go. I hope a bunch of people didn't leave already because I wanted to show you this. This paper, the one that I showed you that was my um, favorite, the favored flowers. If you get the fragrant flowers bundle or dies, I wanted to show you this. It does cut out the images on this piece. So look how pretty they are when they're die cut. This is different to have a black outline. Normally, if you stamp and die cut or fussy cut, you're going to have a white outline. Look how beautiful and dramatic it looks when you die cut this paper because it gives you that little tiny bit of a black outline. If you want a fussy cut, no problem. You can fussy cut these or you can just cut it and use it. But I wanted to show you that, that it does die cut from this particular pattern in the paper. Gosh, I had it right here and I almost forgot to show that tip. My goodness. Let's see. What else? Can you show the milkshake? Uh, the milkshake box Uh huh. that I just showed? Yeah. It's the little um, envelope box that was in the last mini catalog and it carried over. And it's a great size for a little bit of candy or gift cards and then just a wrap around belly band with the designer paper. Let's see. What else? Oh, wait. Here was something. <laughs> Sandy says, Queen of Inspiration, thanks for the brain stretch. You are welcome. I'm glad you enjoyed these. So happy you enjoyed this. Yes, that paper is amazing, Marcy. It's my favorite as well. Um, let's see. What are the die cuts called? The fragrant flowers? Uh, let me grab. I'll show you the bundle. It's right here. So I used this die and this die, and it is on page 21. So let's look at it in here. So here is the bundle, and it coordinates with that favored flowers paper if you want it to. Now, you could just stamp and color these, which I've done in other cards, uh, and die cut them, or you can coordinate it with the paper. You're welcome, Denise. Thanks, Elisa. So any other questions about all of our celebration projects today before I let you go? I hope you have a great weekend. Oh, thank you, Patty. She said she enjoys my lives and so many great tips. I appreciate that. I enjoy sharing with you. Remember, if you're looking for the samples, pattystamps.com over the coming weeks, you can imagine this is way too much for one blog post. So I have to break it down and start sharing one project at a time. <laughs> Thank you, Kathy. <laughs> I will uh, see you next week for our next weekly live. And oh, Mary missed the rabbit punch in the catalog. No, Denise, my citrus cards will be on my blog after I do the live next Friday. Yeah, the bunny punch is so cute, and I actually missed, let me show you something. I'll show you something. So it is on page 52, because this, I'm sure, is a good lesson for all of us to remember. I, I rarely do this, but I accidentally only or ordered the Easter Bunny set at first, because I didn't look down here for the bundle. And there's a separate number if you want to order the bundle at the 10% discount. Or, of course, you could only buy the punch if you wanted to. Or you can only buy the set if you wanted to. You have three options. But in our catalogs, it's something to just be mindful of when you're looking to say, 
you know, oh, I love this. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, look, it has a punch. But you need to look down here for the number because I did miss it at first as well. Oh, colors that I used on the bunny. I used crumb cake to color it. And then just a little touch of the petal pink for the ear. And I think it's, I think I used the light pale papaya right there on his cheek. So it's the crumb cake Stampin' Blends. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I, Mary says I do that way too often. Yep, it's easy to miss. Very easy to miss. All right. So you're welcome, everybody. I will. Oh, thank you, Tammy. Yeah, let me do that. Tammy's reminding me there's one more thing. And, of course, I don't know offhand. So let me just look really quick here which set that applies to. And I know I'm babbling, but wait. Hang on one sec, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, here's an example. There are some sets in this new, this is the first time, I think, I think, that Stampin' Up! has done this, in this new catalog. So you, you look and you see the name around the bend, and then it says C, and there's a number, and it says P, and there's a number, and one price. Okay, what this is, is that you can get this in cling mount, which means, and let's see what I bought it in. Oh, I bought it in photopolymer. Cling... Where do we have a cling set? Is this one cling? Yeah, here we go. Cling means red rubber. So if you see a C, it's cling and it's red rubber. P is photopolymer. This is photopolymer. They are giving us choices now on some of the sets. I don't know if this is something to come, if they're going to do it in all sets, but just be mindful, there are two numbers and two choices. Not on every set, but on a lot of them. So, um, yeah, thank you, Tammy, for that reminder. Oh, that's a good idea. Sandy says go through and highlight the bundles. That's a great idea. As well as um, highlighting these options, too. Because I, I didn't even... I don't even know if I thought about it when I ordered this. I really don't. I, I like picked a number, I guess. I don't remember. I don't remember. But anyway, thank you, Tammy, for that reminder. Yes, it's great that they're offering both. It is. Alrighty, so I hope that you'll come back often this month to pattystamps.com to see all of the samples, all the details, all the colors, all the clickable photos for ordering your products. And if you need catalogs or you want to contact me, Everything on my blog is the best way to reach me, all of those options. So thank you again. I will see you all next week. Have a wonderful weekend and a wonderful coming up week till I see you again. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.